Ready for a big date? Fanny, what are you doing here? I wasn't supposed to see you till later. I know. Um, Michelle, look, I hope that I didn't make you feel pressured to get together tonight. Because if, if you do feel pressured, we can do it some other time. And it's okay. And why would I feel pressured? I don't know. Um, well, I ran into your father and your brother. At and they didn't Beacon think our little date was such a good idea, right? They're worried about you. Well, I'm we sick and tired of everyone being worried about me because it usually means they treat me like a 10-year-old or a weakling. Come on, that's not true. You did it yourself. Look, it's New Year's Eve. It's time for a fresh start. Yeah, together, I hope. Me too. But this time, I'm the one who's going to decide whether that can happen. Not Rick, or my dad, or anyone else. So, uh, maybe you should be a little worried about me. And maybe it's not a good idea for us to get together tonight. Uh, no, I, I, I already canceled the sitter so we could have the house to ourselves. You did. Well, what about um, your father and Rick and Mel? They're going out. See, my plan was to have Robbie down when you got there mm -hmm. and cook a little something so we could have a quiet dinner and talk. So why don't you come over around 9? No earlier. And uh, you can bring a little wine or something. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll see you then. Oh, and Danny, um, there's something that I left out that I think I should mention. What? I'm looking forward to this. Me too. Is this the Slovar's house? No, no, it's not. Oh, so the wrong directions. <laughs> I probably missed the party by now. Um, have a good night. Okay, thanks. You worried about how it's gonna be with Danny, huh? I saw you tense up when you heard the door. I just wish I knew what was gonna happen. Well, what do you want to happen? Well, mostly, I would like to just get a clear sense of whether I can move forward with Danny or not. And I hope that we can work it out. And I, I really do have to believe that we can. Well, you do have love on your side. And history. We've been through way, way too much to just give up right now. Um. Well? It's just the two women and the kid. I think the lady doc's getting ready to take off. All right. Start the car. Keep it running. This will only take a few minutes. Oh, give me a cell phone. to the detention wing at Valesburg. Your tax dollars at work. Why are you calling me? I don't know. I've been thinking about you. I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? Danny, it didn't have to end this way. 
I'm sorry you did. Yeah, so am I. Denny, I hear the bitterness in your voice. Please, please, while I'm gone, don't dwell on the angry and horrible moments we've had, will you? What else is there, Carmen? Happy moments. We've had some of those, don't you remember? Think about when I used to tuck you in bed and read you stories. Hmm? I loved you, Danny. Just the same way you love Robbie. Goodbye, Carmen. Have a nice life. What's left of it? sure things are going to be different this time. You know, that your daddy will be able to be what we need. Because I'm never, ever going to let you get hurt. You know that, right? How about some more juice? Would you like some more juice? What do you think of that? I want to go in a playpen for a second while I get you your juice. Sound good? I got a little coloring book in here, too. Look at that. Look at that. Right back, okay? I've just come for Robbie. 